Hello, welcome. Take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play when you want to solve it with me. Okay, so we're told here that Lauren wants to invest a certain amount. Here it is, 6,500, and she's gonna get 7.5% uh, interest per year. It's compounded monthly, and we want to grow to 7,850. How long will it take? Well, if A of T is the amount of money you wanna get, so that's gonna be our 7,850, Remember that the structure is where we start at a principal balance. Let's call that P sub zero, or you can call it A sub zero. It, you see different variables all over. And here, the principal at the start, that's what you start with, is gonna be the 6,500. And then what are we gonna multiply it by? Well, you're, you start off at 100% and you're adding the amount of interest they're giving you. So it's some rate, right? So we're gonna multiply this by one plus our rate is 0 0.075, so you write it as a decimal, and you divide it by the number of periods that you're compounding it. Here it's gonna be 12, right, with our time cycle. And then you're gonna raise that to the power, uh, the times, the amount of times you're gonna compound it, it's gonna be 12 as well. So you do, you're taking 0.0, you're taking 7.5%, dividing it by 12, you get a really small number. What is that, let's see. That means that, Oops. You take uh, 0 0.075 divided by 12. So each month they're going to give you this. It's about 0.625% per month, but it's compounded 12 times. So that's going to help you, right? The more you compound it, uh, the more it's going to help. And you're going to do that for a certain amount of years until you get the, the goal that you want. And I'm forgetting the variables they use in the book, uh, but let's just call this N. I think that, that makes sense. The number of times you're compounding it. And you raise it to the power of n times t. n is the number of times being compounded. And now we just solve for t. How do we do that? I'm going to divide by 6,500 on both sides. So I get 7,850 divided by 6,500. Now we get this unfriendly number there. So uh, I'm going to try to hold on to that using the store function. Press sto and then alpha a. That'll be my a variable. So I'll say a equals... Now we have the parentheses 1 plus 0 0.075 divided by 12, not 9, oh boy, 12. All right, not such a bad number, but I want to put it as B, alpha B, enter. It's mad at me. Why, why are you mad at me? Alpha B. I wonder, let me see something here. 1 plus 0.075 divided by 12. Enter. Store it as B. Okay, now it's working. Okay, so that equals B to the 12 times T. So in this case right here, we want to solve for T. How do we do it? I am going to take the log base B of both sides. So it's going to be the log base B of A equals 12 times t. All I did on the right-hand side, if I take the log base b of b to the 12 t, that's a b, I just get 12 t. Essentially, b to what power is b to the 12 t, it's 12 times t. Okay, so t is then gonna equal what? t, if I divide both sides by 12, I get log base b of a divided by 12, and that'll be my answer. And I can do that in the calculator because if I go to math, press the math button, there it goes. Uh, at the very bottom, you, the very bottom you see there's log base. So when I hit log base, my base is going to be what I stored as B. My A value is here. And I'm going to take that whole thing and divide it by 12, and that's going to be my answer. So, okay, what does this mean? They want to know how long it will take for this investment to reach that number, 78.50. So it's about 2.5 years, which is the closest answer we have to choose from. They didn't specify the length of a year, but if it was if it was close enough that it mattered, you want to know, are you going to use 365 or 365.25? All right, hope this helped.